Hello then, welcome back to Nagur and uh, Rajput and Reich. We make some progress. We beat Baluchistan last time, took five new provinces for our, well, empire. Meva is kind of in a traitorous mood, so I'm kind of playing my cards carefully here. Declaring war on the people that want to have them released uh, is, of course, uh, part of our plan. Meva is definitely hostile, which is not positive in any way or form and has ever never been. Uh, but at least now I'm getting my, I'm getting some money back, I'm getting some army back, Bellucci uh, Patriots. As you can see here, they do actually have quite a bit of a, um, they will definitely be problem children, if you will. And I definitely have to pay a close attention to these guys. Most of my uh, reason for them, it said, uh, well, problems are legitimacy and war exhaustion. So I definitely need to fix that. Uh, sacrifice some of my power just to get, keep war exhaustion down is probably for the best in terms of keeping myself in power because as you can see it's 3.5 years until uh, trouble time if things carry on the way they are but I will at least get rid of the overextension negative modifier and in just a second but last time we realized that both the Timurids and also Jumper now have decided that they do indeed like me which is of course a very very nice thing to uh, to be told because they are both very powerful nations and I can definitely use them to my advantage most likely, most probably and, uh, well, that's more or less what I'm hoping for. Uh, the goal here, of course, will be to annex both, uh, well, both of these nations. It should be uh, should be likely. I will try to negotiate here rather than, uh, well, screwing up. And I guess I might as well just take the national ideas, but I th I'm tempted to wait just a little bit longer due to the fact that we'll be taking these two promises I need to call them, and they will be expensive. That's the problem. They will be uh, they will be properly expensive because of the fact they are, well, they have uh, local nobles due to Rajput traditions, which makes them a lot more expensive to call, which is of course an issue that needs to be addressed. But um, that's a one on one points for this one due to war exhaustion, mostly. So again, there are issues that I need to uh, need to deal with, and that is one of them. Now I'm a little bit unsure what I'll do here with Gvalior. Uh, I would have preferred to just go for the annexation, but again, they don't like that. Kathiavar does not want to leave the war, so I think in this case I might go for a white piece and uh, just make sure that I do have that, uh, or basically force them to give me their money, that works too. Uh, war operations, they won't agree to that, but at, at least I'll take their money. It would have been nice to just annex them, but I think I need to uh, focus on actually getting the Timurids on my good side in case Mela here decides to betray me and screw me over. So we're going to offer them an alliance, and boom, we have now have Timurids on our side. And if we check who I'm actually friendly with here, we have Timurids, Delhi, uh, Malva. The big question is, do I want to abandon Delhi and get Jampur instead? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think so. Wow, I can see why the team is in trouble here. Goldhorn, Riasan, Ottomans, Karakonyu, Georgia, Akakonyu, Gaskamuk, and Shervan. Uh, I have no idea what actually happened here, but I have a feeling that it's not good. Goldhorn, Conquest of the Timurids, that's an interesting one. Karakonyu's Conquest of the Timurids once. I guess it's tribal, uh, a tribal castle's ally. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure. The Ottomans are probably on the side of the Golden Horde then, so yeah. Uh, I will just accept because we don't really have a choice if we want to keep Timurids as allies. Uh, which is of course not the best thing ever, really. It's it's honestly pretty damn horrible. Uh, but that limits what I can uh, what I can do in this case. And apparently I joined into both wars. Um, will not be participating in either of these, we'll just be sitting by biding our time. Um, I can only fabricate a claim on this province, I might as well do that. Fabricate a claim on Baniyaz. And we'll finish our claims in Baluchistan because we do now have that alliance, so any aggressive expansion would not be a problem. So Timurus pays some money and that's game over with that war. Uh, that was an interesting one. Timurus is basically out of troops here. And was slowly but surely being sieged and then, yeah, peace out. Don't need this. So, that's an interesting one. Um, Revenant negotiation has expired, good. But anyways, I don't think there's too much I can do right now. I think uh, peacefully waiting out the Golden Horror War is probably all I really can do. 
Corsani Patriots. Uh, again, if Timurais breaks up here, I'll probably just be here to pick up the pieces, but uh, I'll also not be suicidal. I'll keep my uh, I'll keep my distance, if you will, and uh, well, pick the battles, wars, etc. That suit me more so than anything else. So for the time being, I think I can't take any more unrest, unfortunately. So for the time being, we'll just sit by, allow our legitimacy to uh, go up. We'll probably fight a war against Kajar pretty soon. Pretty damn soon, January. We'll probably fight. Baluchistan, Bamanis and Jampur. I might have to wait for the Golden Hall War to end. Just so I can drag in uh, Meva. We'll have to see. Uh, I definitely want to fight Delhi in the future, but uh, I don't like their allies. Unfortunately, we did get a stability drop here. We do have a triple three though, so um, that's a fairly good one, three, zero, four. Not really good air though, which is a problem, all things considered. But we do at least get the ba well basic bonuses of being, uh, well, Islam more or less. Unfortunately, we did not get this one, or rather I need to complete my innovative ideas, but it's a good one, national rest minus one. So uh, we'll have to see how we'll deal with this. Currently, however, I need to boost my instability, which again is an expensive endeavor. And we actually get some free piety right off the bat, which is good. I need to be able to convert the uh, the new province uh, more or less. So Oman actually did end up taking the province that we wanted, which means that uh, I need more sea provinces before I can actually make a landing or get access from Karakonli. One or the two, it's more or less the same for me. But uh, we'll have to see here. It will be difficult actually fighting through also, because they do actually have a advantage. They are... Muslim tech, I think. Yeah, they're Muslim tech. I'm Indian tech, so that means I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit behind on the tech. It's ten percent or something, but uh, even so, it will most likely end up with trouble. Hejaz is five. Hejaz is actually a tribal, well, government, which is interesting. But as you can see here, I'm already behind on the military tech by uh, by one. So I definitely need to catch up before we even consider any wars, but the Timurids are actually in a really, really bad position here. So hopefully they will peace out with uh, the Golden Hall rather soon, so I can wage my wars rather than waiting for well them to finish theirs. There's not really too much I can do here in terms of, uh, of battles. Uh, pot on the positive side though, they are apparently at war with someone here. They actually attack Kathia and is currently losing it looks like. Uh, unless they are somewhere else, I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm also kind of tempted just vassal like Jared because it will make it easier to, well, do what I want to do. We'll have to see here. But I guess improving relations with Mavar and integrating them should probably be a little bit high on my list. Um, they will most likely be the troops that I'll be employing and using for quite a while, but even so, uh, they'll probably play a bigger part down the line. But for now, they they do not. So I'll have to see. It's time to fast. I'll allow the core, or sorry, not core claim to be fabricated, and uh, I'll see if I come up with a plan on how I want to handle this situation. So we actually have reached our first set of national ideas here. Um, basically, now I have to make a choice. Do I want to colonize around? It's probably the best, considering that I need the Cape, uh, unless I want to fight a European for that. Potentially a big Spanish Empire. Um, basically, I need to decide what to do. I could, of course, go for exploration, take uh, my uh, colonists, for instance. It could be, make things a little bit interesting, all things considered. Uh, it would also allow me to go east, for instance, starting my own little, or basically getting some colonies in this area, which again could be useful because then I can, worst case scenario, meet up in America and, uh, well, colonize like that. That could work. Uh, that could definitely work. Um, but I'm a little bit unsure, unsure what I really want to do. I could also go with, for instance, the influence ideas if I take anything here. Especially doing, considering the fact that we will be taking a lot of land. Um, I think that if we go with influence, the uh, we'll have to go with influence because I will have to use my second group for most likely exploration or something along those lines because that will basically be how we'll be doing things. Uh, if not, I'll just have to fight through the Mamluks, try and sell a province to someone with European tech next to me. Uh, I could do that, I'll probably get an alliance with the Ottomans once we get there. But it's more or less a risky path, to be perfectly honest. So I think taking exploration ideas and then using the next 
30, 40, 50 years to get around the Cape, find a European, could probably be more beneficial than anything else I can cook up right now, to be, again, perfectly honest. So I think in this case, we will most likely go for exploration ideas. It, it will be a strain on my economy, which is also something that is kind of... Uh, it's something that I am wary of, and it's kind of... It, it's, it's a really bad thing, to be perfectly honest, so... I want to take exploration ideas, but I feel like I might not get the most use out of them. And again, considering that if I take India, I should be able to power through a Mamluks or maybe even the Ottomans with the right allies, I think... Uh, <coughs> I think focusing on, uh, on that, at least for this playthrough, uh, will probably be what will benefit me the most. Especially considering I'll get some extra income from my vassals, claims will be fabricated faster, and all in all, it will most likely be uh, more helpful. If this proves to be uh, futile, more or less, then I'll probably uh, do something else to, well, get onto a better path, but we'll have to see. I was considering getting uh, cogs here just for the sake of uh, starting the colonization, but uh, with my current choice, I have no need of them. We'll also lower the arm maintenance because we don't need to keep it high right now. And secondly, because I saw there was a national arrest guy here, which is wonderful. He will really, really be helpful. That is a, that's a given. So for now, I'll just wait, as I said here, for the Timorese to end their war, so we can fight Kajarat. We'll see how it plays out. There we go, the Golden Horde will uh, pay 32 ducats, which is an interesting piece. Um, again here, I have no diplomats, unfortunately. There we have one. So I could declare war on these guys. Unfortunately, Timorese will not join. They are 2,213 in debt. I'm amazed. 2,000 ducats in death. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. That is really amazing. I couldn't... Not even in my wildest dreams would I imagine that the AI would have two and a half thousand ducats in death. Um, but it's it's an interesting one, I'll give them that. Gujarat, I could actually do a really uh, weird douchey, take your pick, uh, move here. And declare war on Multan, drag Jampur in as a, well, part of the war, if you will. They are currently at war with Kathiva and Minagya. Minagya is kind of already a uh, shadow is for myself, Oris is doing well. Let's take a quick look here on military armies, because that is uh, usually very important. Ottoman, Mamluk, Bengal, Jampo actually has 22,000 men, which is uh, concerning. Delhi do have 16,000 though. Gujarat has 11, so... Um, uh, things aren't looking too good here, but I think I still can... win this, I think. Methinks. Um, do I want to though? That's the big question here. Do I want to get into trouble? Malva do have uh, do have a fair amount of uh, well allies I think. No, they don't have any allies anymore. They used to be uh, they used to have some vassals but they don't. So 10, 7 should be enough. Time to up the arm maintenance, get myself a sorry, get myself a cavalry unit and uh, well then we'll declare one Multan with goal of taking the three uh Multan provinces, which should be fine. I'm losing five legitimacy by well in this case it's the it's the it's the Timorids. I could get lucky. I could get ridiculously lucky here, having uh, Mr. Shahi die. Uh get get Timorids and Union, that would be hilarious. But uh I'll just have to keep an eye on what they actually break free here, because best case scenario, I'll be able to snatch Assas at Persia for virtually free. Uh, I think if I were to declare war on the Timorous right now, no, I, I would not. They have 28,000 men, uh, manpower, and 20,000 soldiers. It would, uh, it would be a slaughter, more or less. So I guess we'll just join up our armies here. I'll check if my heir is. Uh, it's old enough to fight. If it is, we will field him in battle. Yes, we will. He's not good. 
232. That's a good one. Now this guy's actually been around for quite a while. He's the uh, I should say rebel leader because that's basically what it was and it still is. That's fine. So uh, for now we will use Malva and Delhi to most likely handle Jumper and uh, I will siege Molten just because it's fun. So uh, should be interesting all things considered. But uh, as long as Delhi and Malva and everyone keeps uh, Jumper under control, uh, this should be a walk in the park more or less. That is uh, that is my reasoning. So uh, we'll see how that works out. I also lower the maintenance because I don't need to keep it high, which is more or less my reasoning for lowering it. And we'll also take military tech five standardized pikes, come up with increased by two infantry shock by 0 0.15, and I get a new type of infantry which we'll upgrade to shortly. Now, Bamanis and Baluchistan will join a eventual war if I declare it, but uh, I don't really want to declare one. But if I want to declare anyone here, it's Baluchistan because then I can drag and and go for a potential vassalization. We'll just have to see what actually happens. Uh, best case scenario would actually be two vassal Kajarant and Bamanis in well the same war. That would be hilarious. But uh, again, that is one of those small little well pet peeves, if you will, that are so unlikely that they're not even funny. But at least we're doing well in, in this war so far. We destroyed <clears throat> the Molten Army. And Shampur apparently yeah, is scrambling with this. Don't really know what to do. I'll probably take good and Mervat from them, I think. I'll have to see. But again, with my allies uh, currently, the aggressive expansion won't hit me really... or hit me hard at all. So I'm currently really considering backstabbing Delhi, uh, taking some, uh, some of their land, then going on to these one Promise Miners and basically keep on from there but uh, we'll have to wait and see we'll continue I think next time for now we're basically done we've done a little bit of progress I'm more or less stuck right now uh, on what I want to do next uh, I should probably just go for the colonization game because it's easier it's more predictable this is not predictable however and let's see here if I can make you attach I still think we'll be too late to save my army due to yeah morale issues. So, not the best thing ever, but jean -Pierre apparently went for my armies again, probably because they're weaker, or the weakest. Uh, again, that makes sense, but it's just a pain in the ass. So, uh, it's not the best thing ever, but it is what it is, and uh, not really too much I can do about that. I lost about 3,000 men, which hopefully did not include my cavalry regiment. It didn't, so... Should be easy to replace them, hopefully. But uh, again, this is the end of uh, this episode. Unfortunately, Malva got this. They also have a claim to that. So uh, I'll just see how I want to do with uh, Jean Peur, but for now, not really much to say. Thank you for watching. Please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and we'll laugh at Delhi and their nationalists next time. Bye.